Just wanted to do a little bit of catch up to start off this video. I returned from a three month long, amazing, never be the same, life changing vacation across Asia, specifically East Asia. I visited China, Japan, and Korea. I'm literally so happy and fulfilled, but once I came back, I realized that I haven't prepared at all for going to college and I just, you know, use travel to ignore all of my responsibilities. <laughs> I also got sick literally the moment that I came back home. Because of that, I really couldn't do anything. I haven't showered in like a disturbingly long amount of time. I smell bad. It's not good. <laughs> and now I'm going to college in a week and a half and I really haven't done anything to prepare for that. And that's why now I'm gonna try to get my life together. I think the thing I need most right now is just in general to glow up, fix this, hopefully do like mindset glow up as well, you know, like start putting in those healthy habits in preparation for college, transform from our high school, bad uh, motivation, bad sleeping habits, bad study habits mindset to a grind mindset. Okay, so I mapped out a little like list of what I wanted to do to glow up for college. And um, I'm gonna start with journaling, then I'm gonna do some stretching and mindfulness, and then I'm gonna work out, and then I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna do a face mask and also like just some general skincare. And then I'm gonna eat breakfast because I need to fix my eating habits, hairstyling, makeup, get in a new outfit. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, so I'm in my mindfulness corner right now, which is just like the window seat. I'm going to do some journaling, kind of. I don't really like handwrite journals. I just like like typing in my notes app. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Okay, I'm back and I am now in workout gear. And we're gonna work out. We're gonna start with some stretching and mindfulness and meditation. Muscles have been literally so tense. I'm just fine with no abs. Okay, without further ado, let's just get right into the workout. This workout is from Thank You Boo Boo. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours. Like <sighs> guys so i am in the bathroom now and i'm gonna go take a shower because i just finished working out there are literal sweat drops all over my face right now <laughs> out of the shower that was literally one of the most like needed showers i've ever taken do some skincare also check out these miffy clips that i got in japan they're the cutest little hair clips ever so i'm basically going to be using all new skincare products that i got in asia so i'm gonna start with a seki se white washing foam uh from kose but the thing with this is if you put just like the smallest bit, you'll get like a ton of foam. Like well, you can see how much foam has just developed from like the smallest amount. Look at all of that foam. This is round two. There's like not a ton of foam on my face. And then round three where you basically just wash off everything that's left. Then I'm gonna go in with the Softy Mo Cleansing Oil. I also wanted to try the Lululun cleansing balm that I got in uh, Japan and it was like one of the most popular items. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's so satisfying to break it off. 
Like, isn't that literally so satisfying? And it's super like rejuvenating. So that's cleansing done. I'm definitely going to bring the three of these to college because um, you need cleansers for your skin. Okay, now it's time to brush my teeth. One of my literal biggest regrets is that I'm going to have to go to college with Invisalign. I'm thinking maybe I should do a face mask. My skin is literally so dry and dehydrated. So I'm going to use this Aloe sheet mask I got from Korea for soothing and moisturizing. So that's like right up, right up my lane of what I need. I got so much skincare in Korea this summer, it's literally not okay. Trying to apply it. Maybe it's because I have a really small and round face, but face masks usually just don't fit me that well. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job actually. Now we wait for 15 minutes. Hey everyone, so it has been 15 minutes and I'm going to now remove my face mask. Oh wow, that is a lot of moisture. I think it actually really worked. My skin feels a lot more moisturized now. I am now going to jump into skincare again. So first of all, I'm going to go in with the Toridin Dive In Toner. This stuff is literally life-changing. Like it's so moisturizing. It feels so good on the skin. I can't even begin to tell you guys how much this has changed my life. I'm one of those people who's super lazy, so I'm not good at like doing really cohesive skincare. I really don't want to have bad skin days when I go to college, so the goal is to have a set skincare routine. Next, I'm going to go in with this Perfect One Moisturizer. I got it at Cosme in Tokyo. The texture is literally to die for. It reminds me kind of of like the Rose Hydration Cream from Fresh, but it was way more affordable. It was like 20 bucks and it works like in my opinion even better it gives you the glowy glass skin effect Loki. <laughs> asian skincare is really just like on the next level but today we're going to spice it up i got this on sale at ulta grande brow is it like associated with ariana grande it's supposed to be like a brow enhancing serum if you put it on every day for like 15 minutes or something um it'll help your brows grow and as you can see i have non-existent brows so that <laughs> Would really help. Use this little white brush and you brush it onto your brows in the areas where there's like not a ton of brow hairs. I'll let you guys know after a little while if it actually works or not, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep using it. Okay, and then for the final step, we're going to use my favorite ever Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Okay. That's finished skincare. So while we're waiting for all of the skincare to really soak in, I am going to change clothes and then go make breakfast because I am literally starving right now. So I'm so ready to have some food. Okay guys, so I put on a change of clothes, but I'm going to really quickly put a roller in my hair because I recently got a layered haircut in Korea and also got a side perm for my curtain bangs so I bought a roller to like style those. Honestly I've never used a roller before so this is gonna be a really new experience. I did it. Wait why is that really good Loki? Roller. Oh okay. This is the setup um because I don't have bobby pins. That looks so funny, oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. Now we're gonna go eat. Hey guys, I'm in the kitchen now. I think I'm gonna make scrambled eggs, have a croissant, and then maybe I'll cut up some fruit later. But yeah, the thing with um, cooking is that I honestly have like zero experience with it. Like with college, I want to be able to learn to be a little more independent. And like, what if I wanna make like a little midnight snack, you know? I'm gonna crack the eggs into a bowl. I grew up with um, my grandma, so I like always got to eat really good food and I honestly like never had to worry about cooking. Luckily, I still know how to make scrambled eggs. Okay guys, I'm actually so proud of myself. Like, so I got my egg that I made and I heated up a croissant. Also um, cut up some peaches and also a pastry that we got from Costco the other day. Let's eat. Let's try the eggs first. Mmm. Let's try it.
So I am now done with breakfast and my hair is also so completely dry. So we can get started on the next step, which is uh, makeup and hair. So also I just realized that I actually have plans with a friend today um, at 3 p.m. So we're gonna have to rush this up, but this is also good because that means that I'm not just getting ready for no reason. I took out the roller. Ooh, she is very good. <laughs> Brush on my hair. Makeup. I'm gonna start off with a new part of my routine that I'm adding. The Beauty of Josen sunscreen and then the Youth Desk Ever Barrier, which is like a skin barrier formula to help with, you know, keeping your skin moisturized throughout the entire day, even though you have makeup on. My skin was really drying out really, really fast to a certain point. Like I couldn't even wear makeup for more than like five hours because it felt so like heavy. My skin started breaking out really badly because I kept wearing makeup. I got this in Korea as well, the way that I got all of my skincare in Korea, but the formula feels really good already. Last time that um, I tried to put like a bunch of moisturizer on under my makeup, I made the mistake of not waiting long enough for it to like sort of soak in and then just directly putting my foundation on top of it and it absolutely ruined the entire look. It was so sad. Everything is now dry and my skin is feeling great. So we are going to move on to foundation. So I usually use these two in combination. One of my favorite things that I got was the Picasso um, foundation spatula. I've been looking for it for literally forever. Okay. This is working so well, Loki. Okay. Okay. Wait. I love this. It literally looks like I'm putting nothing on my face, but it's putting on like the thinnest possible coat of foundation. Tell me why it gave me such full coverage while looking like I put like no foundation on whatsoever. Looking easy, we're done with foundation. Now we're gonna go in with blush. I use the Rare Beauty one. I got a personal color test done and they told me that I was bright spring. They sorted out all of my different makeup products according to which one fit my personal color and which one didn't. Rare Beauty blush like is so pigmented that I can only use one dot. I also got this setting powder in Korea. It's from Art Class, but this one is so perfect because I don't feel like my skin gets super dry. College Me is gonna be so focused and organized. She's gonna have everything together. Yeah, honestly, I'm really nervous for college because I know that I'm like a really messy person. I'm like the type to have organized chaos, if you know what I mean. Like. It's chaotic, but it's organized. I know where everything is, it just looks like a mess. And another thing I'm low-key really scared about is also like putting up a fake version of myself to try to become more palatable to others. All of you have to keep me in check for that. Okay, next after brows is something very exciting. It's my new Cleo palette. And it's the Napping Cheese palette. The eyeshadows are just absolutely breathtaking. I think I'm gonna use this shade and then put like a little bit of this shade on top. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Something that I really want to start doing in college is like experimenting more with like different makeup styles and maybe doing like cosplay. And I want to cosplay as like anime characters or even like K-drama characters maybe. Draw on my Aegyo cell. This is specifically for Aegyo cell and it works so well. Okay, eyeliner is done. Okay, next is nose contour, and I'm also using the Art Class contour. It's the only thing that works for contouring my nose. Nose contour, you have to connect it with the eyebrow. Nose is snatched. It's time for blush, and I am in love with Laka, which is a brand that I first heard of in Korea. I think they only do like blush um lips and eyeshadow that's how you know they're good because they really focus i use the prism highlighter from cleo which i also got recently when i tell you this is literally perfect for nose contour like look at that okay and now we're gonna do my inner corners with the cleo i'm getting a little bit of this really really white pretty one i love that it's not like the type of glitter that literally gets everywhere but yeah i feel like Adding the white in between the two lines of Aegyosaw makes a literal world of difference. The final step is lips, and I'm going to use this Amuse lip gloss that I got in Korea as well. This is also according to my personal color, and it was specifically recommended to me by the personal color specialist. Ooh, this is very different from what I usually buy, but I think it actually works really well. 
Now here's where I usually just be done and call it a day, put on an outfit and leave. But no, this is a glow up. So we're gonna go the next mile, okay? And that means falsies! So I got these falsies off of Amazon and they're like the manga lashes. But what I'm going to try to do is adapt them because these are too big for me. Cutting them up into little individual lashes and then putting them on. I'm gonna get scissors and start cutting. Okay, got the scissors, let's go. I'm just cutting them so every little individual lash has like a big one on it. Hey everyone, so my phone died so I have to charge it here. So we're gonna do makeup here. Okay, that's one. I can't tell the difference yet because it's like just one, but we're gonna keep going. I put the second one on. I think the trick is like after you put it on, you gotta like, push it in to make sure it's all the way stuck on there and then you like bind it with the other lashes okay guys i finished one eye and i think i low-key did an amazing job okay i'm done tell me why that was literally the hardest thing in my entire life okay so i did this side and i was like oh okay it's fine we're gonna be fine right wrong because this side was literally impossible. That was literally traumatizing, but um, kind of worth it because I'm cute now. Okay, we are back in the bathroom and I am going to do my hair now, but also my friend's gonna be here in literally like three minutes maybe. So I gotta fix this. I have a curling iron. I don't really know how to use this, but I think it's like something along the lines of like this. But do you twist it towards your face or away from your face? I think I need to do smaller sections, don't I? I'm a pretty good feeling about this. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's so hot. Okay, everyone, after some trial and error, I think I have figured it out. Haha! -ha. I'm really afraid of like all of my hair falling out. Did it! Haha! -ha. Okay, I finished both sides and my hair is looking voluminous. Okay, everyone, I finished curling my hair. This is the finished product. I think I got an eight, like, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think I'm giving like, you know, 2000s nostalgia. No, I'm not, but you know what I mean. We're going to get changed now. This for the outfit, um, it's this skirt that I thrifted in Korea. Korea. Little top. I'm going to try to give like fairy core, but like elevated neutrals type of vibe when I go to college. I used to be really scared of black and white. I didn't like to wear them because I felt like it made me boring. But you know what? Starting from today, I'm gonna wear these and not be boring. Okay, I'm gonna tie this. I think I'm kind of enjoying that. Okay, ready? <laughs> What do you guys think? I'm going to accessorize the heck out of this outfit now. It's a gold pearl Vivian Westwood necklace. And I'm going to pair that with the necklace that I already have on, which is a jade necklace that I got from my grandma. So this is the finished look. And I think I kind of glue up. And honestly, like after doing this, I feel like I'm actually kind of more ready to take on college because I can actually do so many things by myself now. And I've just realized that. Last but not least, my most favorite package of all. She's so beautiful. Oh yeah, this is her. Ah, so cute. Do you see the vision? Anyways, thanks guys so much for coming along with me on my Gloat Diaries. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, see you all on the next video. Okay, bye.